Hi, and welcome. I hope that you are doing well. I Let's see. I have a bunch of clips. So we're still doing the same uh, do our clips and talk a little bit. So I'm looking forward to it. Today is another gray day here in Cambridge, New York. Uh, it was 60 yesterday and it rained. We had a huge thunderstorm last night. Um, but this morning it's 38 degrees in Florian, so I think it might even get to be maybe a white Christmas. I'm sure. Um, I think that uh, kind of a quick entry into this. <laughs> Thank you for coming back and joining me. Sometimes I'm so scattered. Um, but let's take a look at those clips and I will come back and show you where I stand on my last one. Tell you a little bit about the plans I'm making going forward. And uh, yep, I use that term loosely. Um, anyway, I'll see you on the other side. Hi, and welcome to December uh, 17th, and yesterday I was stitching on Wise Men, and I'd hoped to get a page finish, but that was not to be, but I'm just a few stitches shy of having the whole page done, just a few stitches here in one of the Wise Men, so, yep, not too bad. And then today, and I haven't started stitching yet, but I uh, will be working on Nora Corbett's Vixen. And uh, that's what Vixen looks like. And this is where I am on Vixen. So I will pick up with her. I hope that you're having a good day and I will see you again. Hi and welcome. Today is December 18th and I stitched on Nora Corbett's uh, Christmas Eve Couriers and this is Vixen and I stitched on her mostly last evening and this is how much I got done. I did manage to put in quite a bit of the wreath and I had done all of the silk and the water lilies. I think that's 204. And then I went back in and I was work, been working on the green. So not too bad. Vixen is coming along. And today is the 18th, so this is a new start day. And as such, I said yesterday that I had two docks in Christmas patterns. I had docks in Christmas and then I have baby dachshund Christmas and I've elected as you can see to start dachshund Christmas and I'm going to cut out the background now I am going to work it on this gridded Ada but once I rinse it I may go through and tea stain it and maybe cover it a little and spritz a little gray color on it or something I'm not sure yet I'll figure that out when I get to it. It's a long ways off. Um, but this is Docs and Christmas. This will be my new start for today in honor of Wally. And you'll note there is a dog tag here in the shape of a heart. If I can figure out how to do it, I may try to put Wally's name in there. And I'll be doing it on uh, 25 count, easy count. White and gray Lugana, and this is a 13 by 18 inch piece. Now, this chart, and I'll show it to you quickly. Oh, that's my enlarged copy. Let me, I'll show you, I'll just show you a random page. This is from an online store. Uh, and I can't remember the name of it. It's designed by Lisa, but that's how densely packed the uh, chart is. So I did enlarge it a little so I could see it. And I think that there's only other well, six pages. There's six pages in this chart. 
so it's not huge, which is good. Let's see if the it just says designers Lisa. I'd have to go back and see um, what the website was. I know it was an Etsy shop. But anyway, I'm going to start on this today. So have things to do and places to go today, but we'll see how far I get. Thanks. Hi, and welcome back. December 19th. And this was yesterday's new start for New Year, new start on Stitch Mania. It is Christmas Dachshund. I'm doing this in honor of Wallowitz uh, because he is my canine best friend and I don't know, I just felt like stitching something that looked like him. So uh, let's see, this is stitched on 25 count gray and white Lugana. And it, this is how far I got. So this is the start of both eyes, and the top of his head, and then this area over here is the bottom edge of his ear. This is ear and face, I think. So I'm basically, I've got this started, and this part of his face, and then this, these two little black sections, um, whoops, here are the bottom of this ear. There's only, I think, six pages and they're not full pages in this pattern. And the first thing I did was go through it and try to identify the background colors so that I knew how far in to cut it. And then because I'm using, well, not cut it, but you know, not stitch what colors I don't need. Um, so that's one thing that's nice about using this white and gray Ada is because, let me see if I can find the first page of the pattern. I really can't stitch much on these really large charts based on one page. But, so knowing that I'm not going to stitch any of this stuff, it's not that hard to be able to know where my border is, you know, where the edge of my border starts and to count over the appropriate number of columns and get to the right row in order to key what's in any given box. So, yep. So that's as far as I got on my new start yesterday. Uh, but that's not all I stitched yesterday. I also stitched... Let me put this page back. I also stitched on my Just Cross Stitch Christmas ornament for December for the Facebook group Just Cross Stitch Stitch Along. Um, and they're stitching the ornaments. Oh, that's the color key. Nothing like or organization. Um, so that is the December 2017 ornament that's being stitched this month on that Facebook group for their stitch along. And I stitched on it some yesterday and I, this is how far I've gotten. This is actually the top down here. It's the top of the stocking and this Merry Christmas border goes around all four sides. So. I got some of Merry Christmas in. I am altering it to be a cross stitch. Uh, in the pattern, it's not a cross stitch. It's actually um, like a 10 stitch type of thing. So I just wanted to do a cross stitch and do it all the way around. So anyway, that's what I'm doing here. I did get all of the red filled in and these are my drizzle stitches. There's three of those up here by the holly leaves and I think they really make the holly leaves stand out better. Thinking about taking a little bit of red and maybe putting a couple of little red like um, French knots or something and making them berries. We'll see. Anyway, that was my stitching for yesterday and then today is the Prairie Schooler Santa. 
and that I started in October of 2017, believe it or not. Or did I? No, that was the 2017 I started. Um, I did just start this this year, I think in Mania this year. And it's the 2011 Prairie Schooler Santa. And let me widen that out just a little. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's how far I've gotten with him. So I'm going to pick up on him today and see how far I can get. I do have a dentist appointment today, and I'm baking cookies today, so we'll see how much stitching actually gets done. <laughs> All right. Hi, Thanks and welcome. This is December 20th. It's a bright and sunny day here, albeit very cold. Um, I won a... Stitcher Mommy's giveaway one of her temperature ch garden chart, well, one of her temperature charts, and I picked the uh, flower garden one that has the highs and lows. So in the coming year, that will be a new start, and I hope that you will kind of go along with me on that journey. That should be fun. So thank you, Sarah. Um, thank you very much uh, for that gift, and... Uh, I'm glad I won. Congratulations to the other winners. Sarah gave away four. I hope that you're watching her videos. Um, she's doing the hashtag no, is, is it no new starts 2020, 2019. I'm not doing that. Um, I think that's wonderful that people are doing it, but I'm too old to do that. I want to do all the things for as long as I can. So, but I wish everybody else very good luck. I may be working from my stash more because I found a bunch of magazines that have pieces in them that I'd like to work along with my large pieces. Oh, hello, Wally. Wally just joined me um, down over there. So, anyway, enough of that. This is what I stitched on yesterday, December 19th. This is the 2011 Prairie Schooler Santa. I love him. He's got a cardinal snowballs and snowshoes so let's see how much further i got with him Ta -da! i got the gold in on the snowshoes and all the back stitching i finished up this cardinal and i did the greenery so really all i have left to do is his hand his face and the border around the outside edge so yeah that will be a finish very soon. So that was yesterday. So today, December 20th, uh, is an old favorite that I'm sure you're getting tired of seeing. Hopefully this will be a finish soon too. And this is Country Cottage Needleworks Forest Snowfall. And that's what that looks like. I've had it out several times. Uh, all I have left to do on this is the border and this is what it looks like so I have to finish I've got this border side in I have to do the border across here and a few snowflakes I think and then I have to do this straight border like the other side and then repeat this border on the bottom and this piece is done so hopefully I have a lot of baking to do today and tomorrow is Samantha's 13th birthday so I'm gonna bake cupcakes for her so yeah a lot to do today um, but this is what I'll be stitching on when I get to stitch it so stay tuned have a very happy season I hope see you tomorrow hi happy December 21st the shortest day of the year here in the northern hemisphere and my granddaughter Samantha's 13th birthday. Wow. Ah, 13th birthday. Teenagers. Yay. Um, let's see. Stitching yesterday was, it's very rainy and gray here today too, so once again I've got oh, my lights on. Um, Country Cottage Needleworks for a snowfall. I baked cookies with Jacqueline most of the day yesterday, so I didn't do a whole lot of stitching. But 
last evening. I sat down to take a break and I did work a little bit on it. I did some more of this, let's see if I can show it, more of this top border. I moved it over. I think I have one more section of the green leaves to go. And then I will be doing the green border, a solid green border down the side. And I also did one green leaf section over here. And I just have the rest of the bottom border, side border, and then snowflakes. And this piece will be done. It's a fun stitch. I'm enjoying it. I'm kind of looking forward to it being done. And then for today, my stitch of note. I'm going for a haircut this morning and I have to finish. I made Samantha. I made her a chocolate chip cookie pie with 13 Hershey Kisses around the top of it with some chocolate drizzle. But I also made some lemon flavored white cupcakes and some homemade lemon curd. So I'm going to fill the cupcakes with lemon curd and use white buttercream icing around the outside. And then I've been trying to figure out how to do that Christmas tree um, topper on a cupcake. And I think instead of buying sugar cones and cutting them down, I'm going to buy bugle snacks, the, the uh, chips, because they're shaped like a, a cone or like a bugle cornucopia shape, but they're small. And then I'll put the buttercream icing around them and decorate them with yellow, white, and pink candies. And um, yeah, I think that will be pretty. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the lemon curd because I love lemon curd. And I think Sammy loves lemon too. So anyway, today's stitch will be my Whip Nora Corbett coffee house. It has Christmas tree in the window and garlands. Very, very pretty. I love the colors in this piece. Sorry about the glare. But the colors in here are beautiful. Uh, and that's what that looks like. It's got Karen uh, water lilies and it's got Krennic. It's gorgeous. And I'm really enjoying stitching on this. So I'm looking forward to today's stitch. I hope today you are healthy and doing well and uh, living life colorful. Let's see you okay, again. Well, I had a pretty good time this week. Um, yesterday was my youngest granddaughter's 13th birthday, so now she's a teenager. Yay! I was thinking about that while I was making her cupcakes, and uh, I also made her one of those big chocolate chip cookie pies, but she doesn't know about that yet. That's a secret because we're having that today. Uh, I put 13 chocolate kisses around it and drizzled it with chocolate. So I think everybody's going to love that one. But I was thinking, you know, I'm going to be 60 in March. And I was trying to remember what it was like to turn 13. <laughs> and I have to tell you, after a while, you do kind of forget those years. Um, I do know that if I went back, I would want to go back with the knowledge that I've gained over these years. But that being said, there are things I probably wouldn't do again. And that would mean all of the good things would change too. And uh, nope, I would not go back. I would want my life, all of its downs and hard times, just because I wouldn't give up the good things for anything. So I have been blessed and uh, I know it. And so I would not go back. Uh, oh well, just think if I went back and made changes, I could maybe have lots of money and be living easy, but uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have my children or my grandchildren or, and I wouldn't change that for anything. So. Yep, I'm going to go with the blessings I've got. So, in my last clip, I was working on, I was going to be working on Nora Corbett's uh, coffee house. Still love, love, love this. So much so that I placed an order with 123 Stitch to pick up, I think it's the Gothic Mansion, because it's in the same colors. And for that, I ordered the Krennic and the beads because I love this. I think it's beautiful. 
and I'll show you. I didn't get a whole lot of stitching in yesterday, and I did do some reverse stitching, unfortunately. But um, this is what it, it's looking like right now. And again, I apologize for the light, but I don't apologize too much because it is what it is. Um, now, that roof peak here in 501, I put that in about five times and took it out about four times. And I'm hoping it's right. And so after I got all that 501 in, which isn't a whole lot, then I started working on this. I don't know if you can see this sparkle, but that is number four braid Krynik. And I will show you which one it is. It is number 001 HL. So there that is. And I'm going to have to order more of it because this entire roof that looks gray is actually this silver Krynik. And it's going to be amazing. Amazing. So I don't grudge it that Krynik at all. So that was fun. Can't wait to work on that again. Loving the Krynik. And so that's where I was. Let's see. For today, I'm planning to work on my Just Cross Stitch Ornament Sal, which for December is this stocking. And Merry Christmas. And this is the one I told you. It looks really primitive. And for me, it's primitive, but it's a primitive 2000, yeah, 1980s. Not 1880s. So I am going to pick up and see if I can get all of those Merry Christmases that go all the way around the stocking in. And if I can get that finished... I may also try to finish my Prairie Schooler Santa from 2011. I did stitch ahead a little bit on this uh, one evening. So I'm a little bit further ahead than the last time you saw it. I actually went back through and put those two holly berries in and I did the border all the way around. So all I really have to do on him is his face and his hand. So this will be a finish. So I'm looking forward to doing that too. Uh, starting to see everybody put up plans and stuff on a few of the groups on Facebook. I'm not there yet. You know, by the time I get there, I am so far behind, I never catch up. Oh, wow. Well. I guess it is what it is. It keeps me keeps me busy and out of trouble, I guess. Except when I start watching Floss too, and then I start placing orders. Because I also ordered something from uh, Kitten Stitcher. Actually, I did something for the uh, shelter. And then I ordered the, um, what's that called? Yuletide Shanty that she's working on that has the white whale and the sailing ship. I've really wanted a sailing ship pattern for a long time, so I thought that would be cool. But I also have the big red ship, so that may have to come out and get some work too. Actually, I haven't started it yet. And what's the other thing I ordered? Uh, oh, her holly berry. That little, I don't know, kind of looks like almost like a needle cape, but yeah, I ordered that too. See? Easily enabled. Just lead me around. So, and I will show you those things when they come in. Um, the only thing up for me for the next five days, uh, and I do plan to stitch every day, it's just Oh Holy Night came up twice. <laughs> the Beast. 
but I'm hanging in there. Thanks, Kay. I'm hanging in there. I did get some of the brown in for the baby's manger the last time I worked on it, and that helped to ground some of those clouds of white and mauve that are just hanging out in that sea of purple. So, yeah, I'm going to work on this. I've got three nights according to Tiny Decisions scheduled. Not all at once together. I think two nights are together and then one skips because for Christmas da, 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 for Christmas I am going to work on Prince of Pe uh, his name is Jesus. I thought that that was very fitting to work on his name is Jesus for the Christmas. And, again, I love this piece. I think this is, I don't know what this is. I, I, I want to say Monaco, but I don't know. But this is what it looks like right now. And I'm planning kind of quiet Christmas, so I might get some good stitching in on it. At least I hope so. Um, yeah. So, I will be working on that Christmas Day. And then, oh, holy night. So, just these two pieces in the coming five days. So, they might actually get some good work done. Uh... Let's see. I'm trying to think if I had other things I wanted to talk about. But this last week has kind of been a blur. I've done baking and I've uh, done birthday. I'm as ready for Christmas as I'm going to get. And I hope that you are all ready for Christmas so that you can just relax and enjoy it. That is important. The most important part is relaxing and enjoying it with your family, your friends, and your community. That's important. Um, I do kind of have a plan on how I want to plan. Last year, I showed you my ARC planning um, system, and then I set this up. And I did use it all year, and it worked out really well until the end when I was doing arbitrary August and stuff and the pages, I set the pages up in kind of a different format. So, plus I was keeping personal kind of journaling and my stitching all together. And that really doesn't work for me. So I do have to divide it out. Um, right now my only, the only drawback to this is that these are my starts and my finishes for 2017. And then these are starts and finishes for 2018. So I need to figure out a way to carry all this forward uh, for my stitching journal because the rest of this, you know, can just be filed away. Um, I might use this in a different way because I have all of the last year's uh, group lists for challenges and stuff I had printed out and put in this journal too. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that this year. I did print out a few months of the challenges to try to work out how I want to set things up. But what I have is I have this little weekly and monthly planner that I bought at Walmart, I think, last year. And what I like about this planner is it has a, let me get to the beginning. In the front, it has a section for notes. And then it goes into a week at a time, and even the year is blank. 
and then it just shows the week. And it doesn't even really list out the months. You circle the, the month at the top of the week section. And I kind of like that just for, you know, tracking what I'm stitching on on any given day. So I'm thinking I'm going to track my stitching in here. And then there's more room for more notes at the back. So, yeah, I'm thinking my daily stitching is going to go in here. And I did, like I said, print out some of the group. Um, oh, that's not Journal Junkies. Not on that group. But, like, this is Full Coverage Fanatics. And then this is Stitch Mania. So I need to go through these. And this is Cross Stitch Finish Line. And I haven't printed out the uh, Just Cross Stitch list of ornaments and the um, ink circles and that kind of thing to see if there's anything there. So I do want to do that still. And I haven't even started. And I signed up for a Valentine Love Romance shabby vintage style journal on uh, Drunk Journal Drunkies. And this is due January 27th to swap. So I need to get moving on that too. And I have a journal that I need to do for Jerry. I haven't forgotten you, Jerry. I'm going to work on these simultaneously. I'll go in two different directions, but they're both going to be kind of vintagey. but I'm going to Keep yours a surprise. And um, I have a couple other journals I want to make. Um, one for a friend. And um, let's see. Oh, I can show you a picture. I'm sure you've seen this if you've watched Kitten Stitcher's, um, I think the last floss tube she did. It's this Holly and the Berry. I just like that. So I ordered that and downloaded it. Plus, I also um, downloaded the temperature chart because, thanks again, uh, Sarah, I won um, Stitch and Mommy's, or one of Stitch and Mommy's um, temperature charts from her Etsy shop. And I don't have a picture of it, so, oh well. I ordered the flower gar garden with the variable, because here in New York, where I live in New York, it's a very varied, very varied, the whole year. Like yesterday, it was 60 degrees and rained all day and thunderstormed. Today, it's 38 degrees and we're having snow flurries. Um, Come January, we'll get to like 20, 24 below. It's not unusual for in the dead of winter for New York to show colder temperatures than Alaska. And then in the summer, come July and August, we'll spike up um, 104, 107. So we are definitely a varied uh, temperature range. So it's going to be interesting. I hope I can keep up with putting in my temperatures, because that will be fun. Uh, and let's see. I watched a lot of floss tube. Some of it I watched on my TV, as usual, and it was just all play. So um, I want you to know I am watching your videos. Oh, I do. I want to do a shout out. I just found the Sunshine Stitchers. I wish I had friends around here that I could sit and do my YouTube with. That would be fun um, because uh, oh my goodness, now I can't say their names because I can't remember. I think it was Shelia, Gary, and EJ. They are hilarious and they do some beautiful work. So I highly recommend that you watch their channel. They brightened my day. I laughed. And I have to tell you, Shelia, I wish I traveled with you. I mean, the Grand Caymans, you look wonderful. Wonderful. Um, don't think I could have come back. <laughs> Although, Florida, Southern Florida, from what I understand, is not a hard-to-take place. Um, 
but yeah I think that's about it for me I know I'm going to close this and I'm going to think of 1500 other things that I wanted to say I saw on Facebook where Sarah um, Little Snips had gotten half of her head shaved and I had gone just yesterday and I got another haircut and I told her to cut it short <laughs> But Sarah, I might have you beat. Uh, mine's looking pretty close, and there is no long hair here to flip it around and cover it up. <laughs> so, hey, good thing I like short hair. Uh, <laughs> and I have to remember how much gray I have, because that last time I tried dyeing my hair, uh, got a little crazy, although I like it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I guess that's about it. Christmas is almost upon us. Um, this is the time of year I reflect a lot on my family and uh, and the blessings that God gave gives us every day. And um, I mean, ultimately, Christmas Day is comes down to John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his son to die for us, that we would have eternal life. I couldn't do that. Nope. There's no giving up my son to die for other people. I would die first for him. <laughs> Boy, is that morbid. I'm sorry. That's what Christmas kind of does to me, I think. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope that you have a wonderful day, that you are ready and raring to go for Christmas, that your coming week is calm and beautiful, that it's full of smiles and color. I know it's not always going to be, it's not Christmas for everyone, but it should still be a happy, colorful day. Uh, so until next time, thanks for joining me and God bless.